Is it recording? It's recording. The red button's on, right? The red button means that it's recording, I think. That's what I was told from other YouTube videos. Ooh, ooh, facial detection, eye detection. That was cool. Wow. Okay, so I've got my camera. I don't know why that just took so long. I've literally been in the store for over 40 minutes just to pick up something and I already knew what I wanted. I had to wait for someone, two actually, two separate people to go look for a key uh, who both forgot about me, who then came back, purchased the camera only to realize the wrong camera was pulled out of the locked box. So we had to do a return and then rebuy of the proper camera. So anyways, I've got that here, vlogger kit and the Sony ZV-1. What's up guys, I am back with another video. Today I am unboxing the Sony ZV-1. I did purchase this a couple days ago. It was part of Best Buy's Black Friday sale. I came in to some money and so I bought it. <laughs> anyways, this has been sitting on my dining room table for over a week now taunting me, staring at me, because I haven't had the chance to unbox it. Just so you are aware, I am returning to YouTube after many, many years of not filming. I have been filming on my iPhone XR. So when this camera came out, I did a little bit of research on it. I thought this was the best fitted camera, kind of packaging everything up into one that I needed. I am not familiar with camera tech. Okay, so if you're clicking onto this video and you're hoping to get some tech specs for this camera, I can't help you, I'm sorry. Tune back in for another Apple video sometime down the line because I keep up with that. But uh, camera stuff, I don't know. I did get the vlogger kit along with it. I hate that this is called the vlogger kit. Like I get, you can very clearly see who they're marketing to and who their demographic is. I'm filming in 4K on my phone. It's using up a lot of memory on my phone. I'm having to shift things over to my laptop. It's been a whole process. So I'm just hoping to use this, use some memory cards, get some better filming shots. Hopefully I can figure out what I'm doing because again, don't know what I'm doing and um, we'll see. I've heard so many channels talk about how this camera is like the perfect starter vlogger camera. And so I'm gonna open this up out of the box and we're gonna see if it's actually the perfect all encompassing starter camera for YouTube videos. I know this says vlogging, but this will be like my stationary camera and then I will double it up as vlogging as needed. Okay, and so one thing I've definitely been struggling with is camera angles. How do I show my face, my reaction, and what's on the table in front of me at the same time? I don't know. Does this work? This is gonna have to work. Okay, so right off the bat, as I'm opening this, we've got a bunch of paper in here. I'm sure I'll need to read this at some point, but for now, we'll leave that. It looks like I have a USB, not USB Type-C, this is just a regular USB cable. Oh, okay, this does come, that's good. This is called a dead cat. Uh, I just learned that <laughs> two weeks ago. So this is the microphone piece that is gonna sit on top of the camera. The other thing too, as I'm using my phone to try and focus in on this, I do know that people have said lovely things about how fast this camera focuses in on objects, so I'm excited for that. Okay, this is the camera. I've never had a camera like this before. It looks so... Fancy. From what I understand, this camera is on the lower end, lower end of um, good quality cameras that you can buy. I paid in total for the vlogger kit and for this camera in Canadian dollars, mind you, just under $1,200. I'll put the exact price here. That is expensive still, especially if you're getting the vlogger kit included. And that was with a Black Friday sale included in on this. So anyways, that's the camera. We've got a screen on the, so on the back here. Oh, oh, so nice. Oh, it turns in all types of fun ways. Ooh, this scares me. And then you can close it. I would prefer to do that. I like that. You can close off the screen. I don't know what I'm doing. How does this work? Okay, so that piece comes off. How do you work? Okay, so it looks like this is the microphone itself. This black piece up here. And so this will slide on. It is plastic though, and I guess that's not what most other cameras are made out of. Again, 
I don't know anything about cameras, so that's what you're in this video for. Sorry. And the battery. I guess that's helpful. Yeah, that's not gonna focus. Open, ooh, fancy. Just like that. That was everything that was inside of the box. Battery plastic, dead cat holder, camera bag, so, whoops. Okay, and then we have the vlogger kit. Wirelessly control your camera zoom, capture and record functions, C1 button on the grip recalls the paired camera C1 custom button function. What's a C1? I'm gonna look back on this probably a year from now and laugh at myself. Hopefully I know all of this stuff to do with cameras. And fully enclosed, cable-free grip design, dust and blah, blah, blah. Cool, okay, well, let's just try this out. Do you come with an SD card? That'd be nice. Whoops. Camera grip pairing guide. Some more paper stuff that I should read. I'm terrified to drop this thing, break it, damage it. This was a pretty penny. Okay, okay. Oh, <gasps> okay, there's a memory card. Good on that, only 64 gigabytes. I'm sure this is not gonna go anywhere with 4K video. We'll see, not sure. Okay, love it. Boxes inside of boxes. That's actually a huge pet peeve of mine. That's what it looks like. It's the GPVPT2BT. More paper. Oh, there's so much to read. Probably not going to. Love this. Okay, we've got a battery. So this is a pouch with Sony's brand on it. Cool. Um, I don't like the feeling of this. It's uh, like cheap microfiber velvet. Feels weird. This is the actual vlogging stick setup thing. I don't know what this is. That's what it looks like. Where does this battery go? Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Just a regular old battery. How does this even rotate up and back? Shouldn't this loosen it? I like this already though. This feels really nice. Gotta find better descriptive words than nice. Really nice. Super nice. This should just like freely move back and forth, right? But... Oh! <laughs> there is a button on the side this thing here to make it go. Well done. And it locks nicely into place on. Okay, I'm not complaining about that. That looks good. I don't know if this means anything to anybody. I only know like this is 64 gigabytes. It's like a decent amount of memory. I don't know how well that translates to with using 4K video, but it says that it can read up 270 megabytes per second. It can write up to 70 megabytes per second. So this comes inside of the box. Again, don't know what this means. So if it's good, it's good. If it's not, okay. Still not focusing iPhone. Good job. This way. I guess I'm just gonna turn it on. I don't think you can see that, but the green light's on there. Ooh, what's this? Maybe I should. Ooh, that's cool. I don't know, is this normal for things to be on cameras like this? I'm just excited because I haven't had like an actual camera in years years so i'm just toggling everything using these on the back here and it moves rather smoothly i've heard one person an older man with larger hands i guess say that this was difficult to toggle back and forth i mean i'm not finding an issue with that so i keep wanting to like touch screen on here but it's not preparing image database file please wait Oh my gosh, there's an actual screen here. This is so cool. I know this red button films, right? So let's just see if it... Is it recording? It's recording, the red button's on, right? The red button means that it's recording, I think. That's what I was told from other YouTube videos. So this is something I'm still struggling with is learning how to speak directly to the lens, to the lens and not the screen, not the screen because um, it, it's been a learning process. Like for me doing this right off the bat, I wanna look like I'm doing it right now. I wanna look at myself in the screen to make sure I can see myself as I'm talking, but I need to learn to look here. But then I also wanna make sure that I'm like in frame and make sure I'm getting everything filmed properly. And now I'm talking directly into this screen, but then I wanna look over at myself here, but you can see my eyes, ooh, ooh, facial detection, eye detection, that was cool, wow. This is exciting. 
This is so crazy to me. I am intimidated to use this camera and I don't know if it's because I actually don't know anything about cameras. I don't know anything about cameras. I don't know what aperture means. I don't know lighting. I don't know. I just learned what bokeh was and I think that's the blurring effect thing that I could do behind me. I feel intimidated as a new vlogger, new YouTuber to use this camera just because I just don't know anything and that is completely a learning curve on my own. This is just stuff that I'm gonna have to look up, get used to, familiarize myself with and kind of go from there. This is the little tripod thing here. Maybe I'll try screwing that on quickly. All you people that are good with cameras are probably staring at me like, look at this crazy person here. So I've got this in my hand. It feels comfortable. I feel like a true YouTuber. battery died <laughs> i'm gonna play around with this a little bit we'll figure it out this was my unboxing guys i hope you enjoyed i don't really know what i'm doing so i might have just bought an expensive camera and everyone keeps saying this isn't like on the low end and i get it there's like, cameras that are far 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 more expensive but like this is still a pretty penny and i still don't know what i'm doing so we'll see if this is actually vlogger friendly youtube friendly for beginners and i yeah like i said i'll get back to you guys in a couple months with an update so I will see you guys in my next video. This is such a choppy, weird video. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where to look. Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Make sure that you're still continuing to wash your hands during this pandemic. If you want to stick around to watch more awkward unboxings of things that I don't know what I'm talking about, aside from Apple products, please subscribe. 